Hey, what's up? Ben here from blogwithben.com. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up and use the new and improved Cookie Yes GDPR compliance WordPress plugin. There have recently been some major updates to the plugin that have changed the backend interface. And this tutorial will show you how to set up, use, and scan your site for cookies using the new version of this free plugin. Now in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to make your site GDPR compliant by creating this GDPR cookie notice banner that displays at the bottom of the screen and remains sticky until the user accepts, rejects, or customizes their cookie settings. However, there are different layouts to choose from when it comes to how you display your cookie banner and all of the colors are easily customizable as well. And not only will this amazing tool assist you in making your site GDPR compliant by adding a cookie banner, it also supports cookie compliance with the LGPD of Brazil, CNIL of France, and the California Consumer Privacy Act, the CCPA. This plugin is one of the best WordPress GDPR compliance plugins out there as it comes with a host of features that we'll go over step by step. Now, really quick before we get started, if you find this video helpful, I would greatly appreciate it if you would like, comment, share, and subscribe to the Blog with Ben YouTube channel. Doing so helps me keep this channel going and growing, and it also allows you to stay up to date with all of my future content. Either way, thank you so much for all your support. All right, with that being said, let's get started. Okay, so if you haven't done so already, you'll need to download, install, and activate the Cookie Yes GDPR plugin. And I've put a link to it in the video description below. And again, we'll be using the free version of this plugin throughout the tutorial. However, they do offer a premium version of the plugin, but there's a cost associated with that. So we'll be using the free version of the Cookie Yes plugin throughout this video. Okay, so once you've downloaded, installed, and activated the plugin, go ahead and head over to your WordPress dashboard. And before we dive in, a quick disclaimer. I'm not a lawyer and the information provided in this video does not and is not intended to constitute legal advice. Instead, all information, content, and materials available in this video and my blog are for general informational purposes only. If you have any legal concerns regarding your website and compliance, then I highly recommend you reach out to an attorney to obtain advice with respect to any particular legal matter. Okay, now that that's out of the way, let's configure the plugin. So within your WordPress dashboard on the left-hand side of the screen, click on where it says Cookie Yes. And this will take you to the plugin settings where you can begin to configure the plugin. So to get started, click on the customize banner button. And this will then take you to where we can tweak the settings and layout of the cookie banner. And from here, if you look on the left, you'll see that they've broken down the different configuration settings into four sections. There's general, layout, content and colors, and custom CSS. Then depending on what you have selected, the settings will display on the right hand side of the screen and it's where you can begin to configure the plugin. Now real quick before we get started, in this section of the tutorial, we're just gonna be configuring the most important aspects of this plugin so that you can get it up and running. But there are additional features you can check out like the language settings and the policy generators whenever you have some extra time. We're also gonna be using the free version of this plugin, so some of the features won't be available, but again, since we're only using this for GDPR, the free version will meet all of our needs for this particular situation. Okay, so first things first, we have the general tab selected, and from here, you could change the template, which is the type of notice that will display on your site, as well as the geo target settings, and then below that are some advanced settings, and then you can even preview your banner by flipping this switch on. Again, for this tutorial, we're creating a worldwide GDPR banner, so we'll leave these default general settings in place. But just for the sake of this example, if you click this dropdown, you'll see that you also have the ability to create either a GDPR or CCPA notice, which stands for California Consumer Privacy Act. And I'll show you what that is in a few moments. Now I should point out that you only have the option to create one or the other, meaning you can only create a GDPR notice or a CCPA notice. If you wanna display both of these, you'll need to upgrade to the paid version of this plugin. And without getting into the weeds, the CCPA notice is for web traffic from California. Now, before you start worrying about not having a CCPA notice on your site, there are certain thresholds that you have to meet in the law's eyes in order to be required to display the CCPA notice. 
Again, what I'm saying right now shouldn't be considered legal advice, but if your site meets one of these thresholds, which are an annual gross revenue of at least 25 million, or you obtain personal information of at least 50,000 California residents, households, or devices per year, or at least 50% of your annual revenue is generated from the sale of California residents' personal data. If you exceed any of those thresholds, then you'll need to upgrade the plugin and add the CCPA notice. However, if you're just a new blogger starting out, chances are you won't be meeting or exceeding those thresholds anytime soon. So that's why we aren't adding it in this example. Okay, back at the plugin. Again, we're leaving the default general settings in place. So let's move on to the layout settings by clicking on where it says layout. And from here, you could change how the cookie notice displays on your site. You have a handful of great options to play around with, and by default, it starts you out with the box type, which displays a small box in the lower left corner of the screen. And if we switch on the banner preview, you can see what that'll look like. And there we go. This preview feature is pretty cool, and it makes it so that you don't have to go back and forth from the plugin to the front end of your site in order to see what the banner looks like. I love this new feature. Okay, now like I said, feel free to play around with the different layouts, but for this tutorial, we're gonna use the banner type. So click on the banner type icon to select it. And this will display a banner that is sticky at the bottom of the screen. Sticky meaning it will stay there as the user scrolls, which I'll show you in a few moments. Okay, next let's adjust the color scheme. So click where it says content and colors. And from here you could change the color scheme of the banner. By default, it's using the light version, which gives you the white background, but you can change it to dark, which will give you a black background, and then custom, which obviously you can customize the colors. However, for this example, we're keeping the light version in place, but again, feel free to test the different color schemes if you'd like. Okay, next, let's configure the cookie notice itself. So click where it says cookie notice to open the settings. And the first thing you can edit is the actual copy of the notice. I recommend leaving this alone unless you're working with a legal professional that has given you different copy to use for your notice. But again, this is where you can change the content and color of the notice. So depending on the color scheme of your blog, you can change the color of the banner to match your style. However, I'm leaving the default settings in place. All right, moving on to the colors of the buttons. So you'll see that there are three buttons on the banner, customize, reject all, and accept all. And by default, the color scheme is using this royal blue color, which isn't bad, but it won't match my color scheme of the blog. So to change the color of the buttons, next to each label, click the color swab, and this will open a color picker tool where you can experiment with different colors. And as you do, you'll see the preview below change as well. Pretty cool. Now you can also enter the hex color code here if you know it, and for the sake of this video, I'm just changing everything to black. So in the hex field, I'm gonna put the color code for black, and then I'll do that for the remaining buttons as well. But again, feel free to test different colors to see what works best for your blog's color scheme. And then I'm gonna swap out all the other royal blue colors with this black hex color code. And as you do start changing the colors, you'll be able to see what that will look like in the preview at the bottom of the screen. Okay, now if you've changed the colors of your buttons, you'll wanna make sure that you use that color throughout the rest of the plugin. So next, let's open the preference center settings. And this is the notice and button that displays if the user clicks the customize button. So you'll just wanna make sure that these colors match. And again, I just use black for this example, so I'll add the hex color code for black in these two fields. And then you're not gonna be able to see these changes in the preview, unfortunately, but just know that you'll want these colors to match the color you used for the other three buttons. Okay, the next configuration we're going to make is in the revisit consent button section. So go ahead and open that up. And before we make any changes, let me show you what this is. So if you have the revisit button on, whenever the user clicks on a button in your notice, the plugin will then give them a way to revisit their cookie settings by displaying this small icon in the bottom left corner of your site. This stays on every page and can actually interrupt the user experience. So for this example, I'm going to remove it. 
So back at the plugin, to ensure that the revisit button doesn't appear, simply flip this switch off. Okay, that's gonna do it for the layout of our cookie banner. So let's publish our changes and make them live before moving on to the last step of this process. So go ahead and click the publish changes button. And you should get a notification that the updates were successful. Then the final thing you wanna do is have the plugin scan your site to see what cookies are being used to track your site's visitors. Once scanned, the cookies being used on your site will be listed in your cookie notice and you'll be GDPR compliant. So the way we'll do this is through the cookie management section of the plugin. So go ahead and click on where it says cookie manager. And this will allow you to manage, monitor, and scan for cookies on your site. On the left is where the plugin categorizes the types of cookies. And then on the right is where you can manually add cookies to each category. This will in turn add the cookies you use on your site to the GDPR cookie banner. Now, one thing I wanna point out is that in order to scan for cookies, you'll need to connect to the plugins web app. And this is a really cool feature because it's hard to know exactly what cookies you're using at any given time. So using this scan feature allows you to stay compliant and transparent with your audience. Plus it's super easy to set up. So all you need to do is create a free account by clicking this button, and then you'll sign up and connect to the web app using an email address and password, and then you'll be able to access the app and finish scanning for cookies. So once you've entered your email address and created a password, click the sign up and connect to cookie yes button. And you should get a notification that your site has been connected to the app and you can now manage your cookie settings from your new plugin dashboard. So go ahead and click the Go to Cookie Yes web app button, and that will bring you to your new Cookie Yes plugin dashboard. It's fairly similar to what we just configured, but now anytime you need to make a tweak to your plugin settings, the banner layout, or scan for cookies, you'll do so through this app. Now, since this is our first time using the app, we'll need to check our inbox to verify our email address. So let's do that really quick. And you should get an email from Cookie Yes where all you need to do is click this button and your email address will be verified and you can now have full access to the plugins web app. So go ahead and click the go to dashboard button And again, from here, you can monitor your cookies, you can scan, and you can check your consent logs. Then the additional cookie settings can be accessed here in this menu. And if we click on Cookie Manager, you can see which cookies are being used, which we currently only have one. But as you build your blog and add things like email marketing, social buttons, affiliate marketing ads, and Google AdSense, then you'll wanna rescan your site so that those cookies can be accounted for in your notice. So I highly recommend revisiting this plugin and rescanning your site by clicking this scan again button. Again, having the cookie notice is the first step in you remaining GDPR compliant, and it can protect you legally when it comes to the ever-changing privacy and data laws. Okay, so that's gonna do it for the configuration of the Cookie Yes plugin. Now, anytime you wanna get back to the web app, simply click this button and you'll be able to rescan, monitor your cookies, and so on. But again, this button will get you back to the web app. All right, so let's check out our banner on the front end of our site. So hover your mouse over your site title in the upper left corner and click on visit site. And you can see that the cookie notice banner is displaying at the bottom of the screen. Then when the user scrolls, it stays in place. Then from here, they can either accept or reject all, and this will make the banner disappear, or they have the ability to customize their settings by clicking the customize button. And this opens an additional pop-up screen where they can configure the settings to their liking. This also lets you see that the button colors are all matching too. Nice work. Okay, I'm gonna accept all so that this closes. And there we go. Your site is now GDPR compliant and you can rest easy knowing that you're staying ahead of the ever-changing data and privacy laws online. So that's gonna do it for this video. If you found it helpful, I'd greatly appreciate it if you would like comment, share, and subscribe to the Blog With Ben YouTube channel. Also, now that you've started your blog, 
Check out these two videos on email marketing and blog monetization. They'll help you grow your audience and earn a passive income with your blog. And as always, your support means a great deal to me and my family, and for that, I thank you. So with that being said, I'll see you in the next video, and thanks for watching.